Hello everyone, this is Jack Frost with your monthly update for silver. Overall price has increased with a push in bullish momentum, bullish technicals supporting the second Elliott Wave count, Elliott Wave first, technical analysis last. On the first weekly chart, Cycle Wave 3 is now expected to pull price lower within Super Cycle Wave C. Cycle Wave 3 has a target calculated at 13.89, where it would reach equality in length with Cycle Wave 1. And above that, Super Cycle Wave C has a target calculated at 7.46, the 0.618 Fibonacci ratio of Super Cycle Wave A. Within Cycle Wave 3, Intermediate Waves 1 and 2 of Primary Wave 1 are labeled complete here and here. Now with overlapping third waves at minute, minor and intermediate degrees to pull price lower. Minor waves 1 and 2 complete here with minor wave 3 pulling price lower with a target calculated at 18.7, the 2.618 Fibonacci ratio of minor wave 1. Within minor wave 3, minute wave 2 is labeled complete at this high here, though it may continue higher finding resistance at this channel drawn around super cycle degrees. Within cycle wave 3, no second wave corrective movement can move above its start at 26.123. And price has continued to move around support at this Elliott channel drawn around cycle wave 2. If there is a break below this channel with a full candlestick below and not touching the channel, then there will be increased confidence in cycle wave 2 being over here and cycle wave 3 having begun to pull price lower. On the daily chart with the end of intermediate wave 2 over here, we can see a bit more for the downwards movement for intermediate wave 3. Within minor wave 3 of intermediate wave 3, minute waves 1 and 2 complete here and here, with price now expected to decline for minute wave 3. If minor wave 2 does continue any higher, then it cannot move above the start of minor wave 1 at 25.264. And a base channel is drawn around intermediate wave 3, where minor wave 3 is expected to break below support of this channel with increased bearish momentum. If this happens and price breaks below with a full candlestick below and not touching the channel, there will be increased confidence in minor wave 3 to pull price lower. Additionally, if price makes a low below 19.909, there will be increased confidence in this wave count as it is the invalidation for the main bullish wave count. On the bullish weekly chart, cycle wave 2 is labeled complete at this low with cycle wave 3 within super cycle wave 1 now pulling price higher. Within cycle wave 3, primary wave 3 is expected to pull price higher with increasing bullish momentum. And within that, intermediate wave 3 is expected to have begun at this low here, with price now increasing. A base channel is drawn around primary waves 1 and 2, where price has recently moved around support at this channel. Price is expected to increase for primary wave 3, where primary wave 3 is expected to break above resistance at this channel. Intermediate wave 3 pulling price higher with a target calculated at 30.75, the 1.618 Fibonacci ratio of intermediate wave 1. Above that, primary wave 3 has a target calculated at 31.12, the 1.618 Fibonacci ratio of primary wave 1. And above that, cycle wave 3 has a target calculated at 46.82, the 1.618 Fibonacci ratio of cycle wave 1. If intermediate wave 2 continues any lower, then it cannot move below the start of intermediate wave 1 at 19.909. And on the bullish daily chart with the end of minor wave X within intermediate wave 2 over here, we can see more detail for the recent upwards movement for intermediate wave 3, currently expected to be within minor wave 3. Minor wave 2 labeled complete at this low with upwards movement as price moves above support at the lower edge of this channel, increasing for minor wave 3 with a target calculated at 26.71, the 1.618 Fibonacci ratio of minor wave 1. And if minor wave 2 does continue any lower, it cannot move below the start of minor wave 1 at 19.909. On the technical weekly chart, price has overall declined from this last high, though it has recently found support at 22 and now increases. Price increases with overall declining volume, which is a concern for the bullish wave count expecting third waves at two large degrees. Third waves at the larger degrees should exhibit strength, not weakness, though this may change in coming weeks. On balance volume continues in a range with ADX declining, RSI and money flow both neutral and stochastics neutral. ATR begins to increase slightly as price increases. And on the technical daily chart, price has began to increase 
with a push from volume after finding support at 22. On balance volume has broken out of resistance giving a bullish signal. ADX now increases from a low point and below both DX lines with a bullish trend. This is the strongest signal that ADX can give. RSI and money flow both neutral and stochastics neutral having failed to enter oversold previously. After this last low in October, volume has pushed price higher with an increase on a few bullish candlesticks. The starter at this time frame supports the second bullish Elliott wave count. That's all for me with your monthly update for silver. I hope everyone has a good week.